That looks to be all of them dead. I would assume. There's a few crates here. Some medical crates. Weapon crate. And this might be another medical crate. Yeah. Mm, some useful stuff, I guess. It's not that bad. Uh, the morphine would definitely help because I don't have much morphine back at base. And carry some more blood bags. Got enough antibiotics. Check the weapons out. Not much, really. Take the ammunition for the M9 SD. Yeah, there isn't really much here. Grenade launcher. Well, note down, don't do this mission. <laughs> oh my goodness. This isn't very good. And I think I had a hum of a vehicle. So I'm gonna run for it. Because I don't think there'll be much good weapons on the AI. Probably go find another mission to do. At least I know the Euro supplies don't really have that good weapons at the moment. On this server at least. Because uh, they were pretty awful weapons. Despite there being a grenade launcher, it uh, wasn't too good. Because the grenades actually take out quite a lot of slots in your backpack. This is definitely much better. Then the other one. Oh, one is up behind me. It's not good. I think not really too much damage. Okay. Can we check this gear? And get out of here. I think this AI had MK17. At least one of them. Oh, there's a launcher. Oh. Another M14 aim. That and let's get out of here. Quickly run far away. So that'll be drawing a lot of players in like the last mission after it gets secured. A lot of players camping it will move in. And try and make it back into the tree line. Just to my right. Get into the hills. My hand soldered cover. There's a zombie spawn over there. That is not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is not good. Oh my goodness. This is not good at all. 400 blood. 300. Got unconscious. Okay, this is good.
Now we keep riding. <laughs> oh my goodness, how did I make that? There's no way. They, there was at least three of them. There was one in Northwest, one on that tree line, and then there was one near the barn. Well, the guy from the tree line moved to the barn, but there was more than one further along that, near the barn. I'm going conscious here in a second if I don't blood back, but I need to get over this hill. Oh, I should be fine here, maybe. Oh dear, I might have to repack the bicycle as well. Quickly blood bag. That was really lucky. There was a mission right there. Not too long ago, but it's it's gone. I think I was heading up towards the where the mission <laughs> was originally. Okay, so we've got antibiotics. So that's fine. The antibiotics will <coughs> cure my coughing. Which is what you get when you self blood bag yourself sometimes. It never happens if you get someone else to blood bag you. So if you get a blood bag, make sure you have antibiotics. Just to be safe. Because they will probably save your life. Because when you start coughing, the antibiotics will stop you from getting sick and losing blood. That was really good. It's an MV-22 back then in Northwest Airfield. But I did see a zombie, so it's probably a trap. Which uh, most people sometimes set up. A lot of traps everywhere, that's what you gotta be careful for. It's not good when people set up traps, because you pretty much lose everything. Oh, here's a crate right here. Quickly get this. I don't know if I hear another air vehicle. I really don't want to blow this up because I'm on really low health. There we go. And that looks safe landing, maybe. Okay, so it's like just wooden walls. Which I'll take. No harm in taking them. I wouldn't imagine. Let's take this. And I'll uh, probably attach the M9SD later on when I get out of here. But uh, the M9SD, I can just equip that. So that I can't equip it in the helicopter, but I have to be on the ground. And then the reason I didn't pick up the wood walls with the window was because there's really no point where I am at the moment where I'm stationed up. There's no need for the windows. Just more of a chance to get shot. And uh, that MV-22, that's even more suspicious because vehicles don't spawn randomly on this server. So that's, that's rule number one, straight up. Server doesn't spawn vehicles and there's a vehicle out in the open. Probably wouldn't go for it, so they're locked. Or someone's camping it, like in that case. Which I'm pretty sure someone's camping because there was a zombie spawn right next to the um, tree line. Next to Northwest Airport, which is where like four barracks are stationed up. That guy probably looted there, got a sniper rifle, and just camped it to get more gear. It's quite an efficient way to get gear, but it's not the best way. Yeah, I might have turned back around, gone a bit far north. Go to the trader. See what I can buy. Maybe some blood bags will do. So I do have some gold that I just sold some weapons for earlier. That may have been the aircraft I heard. <laughs> it came right from where that mission was. And uh, I guess someone's on the airfield. Maybe they tried shooting at me. Don't think he can kill me because I've got god mode, but you never know. It's not anything can happen. Probably glitch out and I die. It's probably someone on the airfield. I need to get a blood bag. Probably need an extra one. Because I don't get full blood back. Myself blood bag. I've got antibiotics. That should save me if uh, this does get me infected. It's a pretty low percent chance, but it, it will probably get me infected. Probably just add the ammo because I already got one. I can see what I can sell these for. I know the macros sell for quite a bit, but it might be changed on this server. Macro SDs. <coughs> uh, I'm infected. Yeah, these sell for gold. Most gold. Okay, so usually the macro would sell for a bit more, but I guess it's a bit different on this server. So I guess like most, unless someone's getting really unlucky, 
I've gotten infected both times I've self blood bagged. I just found out is that all these gems that you can get off hitting these domed looking rocks with a triangular head on top. Use a sledgehammer or a chainsaw. Not sure about a hatchet though. Might take a bit longer, but you can actually sell them for briefcases. I'm not sure if you can actually craft uh, craft them with anything, but pretty cool you can sell them and the gold ore is just one gold, which by the name is just gold ore. And you have to smelt that to get one gold bar. Everything here is quite expensive. Combination locks, it's going to cost me just over two briefcases to get three, which is what I'm thinking I should need. Uh, to finish off the base, then the chainsaws, uh, one briefcase, then the two strike engine oil is four ten ounce gold, which is quite expensive. But it's easier to find that than it is to get enough gold for it. You can search supermarkets, mainly supermarkets, you can get them quite quickly. You just pick them up on your travels, store them somewhere, which I can't see a lockbox here, which is the cheapest way to store your stuff. Unless you find a ten, but it's not very secure as a lockbox. Because safe cost one briefcase on 98% of servers. Some servers they cost a bit less, like 5 10 ounce gold. Really depends what server you're on, but 98% of the time it will be one briefcase. I know I played on a couple servers where it was really cheap to get a safe. Oh no, excuse yep, SVD max. This should be enough, maybe, hopefully. I hope it will be. Unless I'm screwed. <laughs> but I might go to the airfield. I'm not quite sure. How do you get two 10 ounce gold from Selena Weapons? So that might be a good idea to go back to where I'm held up and just store that. 